Holy hexagon! Oh my god! What's up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and today we have another box from Japan. It is a box of snacks from Japan, especially from Japan, from Nin Nin Games, some website I found on the World Wide Web. And we got a box of wafer snacks. Shrip them. We are gonna shrip them. The snack again. See the beautiful wafer stickers that we find in these sh shrip them snacks, shrip them adventure. But guys, if this is your first time here and you wanna see sh these shrip ems every week, make sure to smush that subscription button. And today we're gonna be doing this snack shrip them for you Joe Crew returning members. Thank you for coming by and let's check it out. Let's see what's inside this sh 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 snack to shrip them. All right, we got this box here. This is the art on the box. It does have the Toei animation seal of approval. So you know it's not legit. This is not a bootleggers box. And I think there's some pretty cool rare stickers in here. I don't remember what it is from the set. I've opened some of this a while back, but these boxes were still available. And that was before I was doing these shrippums live. So, of course, we need to bless them the snack. Oh, snack them, be bless them. Please have this very wonderfully rare shrippum sticker in here. Now it's about time we shrip them some snacks. All right, so these shrippums are, ooh, this is the golden broly art. These shrippums are a little different. These snacks make an absolute mess. So I actually slice in these. It's not quite a shrippum. It's a little more of a slice in the snack. And what do we get here? It is a, ooh, wow. This is very cool art. This is Go, This is, is this Goten? Is this Goten on his version of Icarus? What is going on here? I have never seen this art. I have no idea what's going on with it. Wow, number 24. Very cool, very, very cool art. I think it's Goten. It looks like Goten with a dragon radar on some, on like his version of Icarus. Maybe there's a new uh, Hire dragon, who knows? And our next slice, and this has the SS3 Goku art on it. SS3 Dragon Fist Goku punching his way through the universe. These are the vanilla, not the chocolate versions. Yo, here is our boy. From, I think this is Ganos is this guy's name. Universe 2, maybe? I don't remember. Maybe Universe 4. That's why it says 4. Yeah, I think it's Universe 4. He's Universe 4. Ganos. Very cool. Tournament of Power. Reft and another Broly. There is a golden Broly in this somewhere. There's the potential to pull from these snacks. I know. I think that's the super, super duper rare sticker is the Broly. And we got a Bergamo U9. U9 assemble. Bergamo, get out here and show him what you got. He is the big boy, the big Bergamo boy. Claws. Trio the dangerous. These dangerous guys. Oh, this is our universe of tournament of power snack art here. What is the strip them that we pull from here? It is another Goku. What's with all these dragons? I think that's Goku. Go going to class. When did Goku ever go to school? I am curious as to what's going on with these little dragons and the Sun family. Not totally sure. Our golden Broly art here. I don't know what the what the deal was with these series, and I don't even know what these. I think I think these things are called Chuseni seals. Oh. The downtime, Goku and Gohan downtime. Back when they were fighting Cell and they decided to stay in their Super Saiyan form all day, just doing some fishing out by the pond, you know, enjoying life. Goku recognizes that he can't take on Cell, but his son is gonna take him on and he's gonna tell him, you know what, Cell, I'm not good enough, but I know somebody that is, but it may cost him his life. And Trunks, whoa, this one is rad. This is my favorite form of Trunks, the Super Trunks. When he gets really thick and angry and gets down to try and avenge his father and beat Cell, but he ends up getting smacked anyway. That room of spirit and time, man, you know, it was a great idea, but it didn't just, just didn't quite get what they needed to get out of it. Hyperbolic time chamber is called in the English, English dub. Ooh, whoa, yo, this is so Sick, what the heck? This is so cool. This is the MR rarity. Wow, what? Some of these stickers had a sticker behind them. This is rad. Look at that, it's got like glitter and gold stamp and holy hexagon. I think we need to take a closer look at this one, gang. 
Yo, oh, whoa, yo, shot. Wow, look at this. Vegito. Vegito. It's got Goku and Vegeta on the sides. Wow, that is a gorgeous sticker. It's just a little square, but the printing, the, the, the effort they put into the printing, you can really see so much. Like there's, there are, there are multiple different types of foiling stamps on it. They use different types of foiling techniques. There's a glitter foiling. There is a, a reverse hollow foil printing. Gold that wraps around Vegito's legs and stuff, body. And the hair highlights are also gold stamped. This is just, what a good, beautiful, gorgeous sticker. This one's definitely going in the shrimp and collection. I wonder if BGS is ever going to start grading these things. Oh, Ooh, whoa, yo, oh, wow. Oh my God, this is so dang good looking. I just want to eat it. But that's why they give you the snack. So you can eat them the snack for the shrimp. -um. Wow, what a shrimp. -um. What a shrimp -um ride. I think there's only one rare one in each of these, but we will be able to appreciate the art here on each of these other snacks. I'm, elite. I, I, I'm not going to say this guy's name get me in trouble saying his name on the World Wide Web. Gotta be careful, you know? What is this one? Yo, I like this art a lot. This is like a Toriyama promotional art, I think, that was done. That's cool that they turned this into a snack strip of art. Very rad. Very excellent. These snacks just, they produce a lot of dust. There's a lot of snack dust that comes off of these here and comes around. And I'm not gonna say this guy's name again. Now I'm just getting memed by these snacks. They know, they know that I'm trying to watch myself and not say a rude word. I don't know how to say his name without saying something rude. Another one of these Gokus, wow, what the heck? We pulled one of these Gokus, we pulled one of the guys whose name I'm not gonna repeat, and then another one of the, that guy, and then another one of these Toriyama Gokus. Those were some loaded packs, strip them. Ooh, holy hexagon, oh my God. So, there were two super rare ones and this is another MR. Yo, this is the one I was looking for. I saw a picture of this online. Oh my God though, yo, this is so cool. What, you don't even know his power. He has mystery power. Oh, wow, what a gorgeous strip him the snack. Whoa, look at that. They got this, it's this kind of like confetti uh foiling that's going on and there's only one of the stickers in here but all the highlights in the gold stamp foiling and the press foil you can see the texture on the key coming out from around his feet and his hand he just looks so serious i have a, I have one of these the original version of this sticker is on one of my old deck boxes so this is the first version of this sticker that it didn't have his, the gold stamping but you can see they really stepped it up and they redid this sticker and it just looks fantastic oh ooh, whoa yo wow whoa. two in a box how do we get two such good looking valuable strip em stickers in this box oh whoa ooh, that is this is gonna be this one this one definitely goes on the front page of the strip em the snack collection well that was unexpected and our next shrimp them here. So at this point, I don't know. I don't know how many really rare ones are in a box. I imagine there wouldn't be more than two. Another Bergamo. But what a box. Wow. And I don't know what the rarity of the, the golden Broly one is. Maybe those are just like, maybe there are Muchirim. I think that's how you say this guy's name. Muchirim, something like that. But I'll tell you, these shrimp them, they make a lot of this shrimp them. These shrimp them make a lot of this shrimp them dust. From the snacks, because the sna ooh, Cell Jr. going for a hug, going in on a to get a nice hug. A couple more sn snacks to strip them here, and what are we gonna get here? It is a ooh, Super Saiyan Super. This is the what the Ultra Super Saiyan Ultra, some sort of form in between SS1 and SS2, but you can tell his hair is a little thick on the back end. He's got that back end hair thickness and they get really beefy and slow. Gohan is the one that figures out SS2, I think. I think they, Gohan, Goku hangs out in SS1 form and then Super Trunks and Super Vegeta go in, but they're just, whoa, what is going on with this? Wow, what the heck? ER, emergency room, whoa, yo, this is really cool. And it's shatter foil. They use shatter foil in a very tasteful way. Just in these small highlights of the foiling, got Kaioken, Goku, and Piccolo. I don't know what exactly is going on in here, or what this is a reference to, or when it is from, because Goku does not go Kaioken when he's fighting Raditz. So this is not from that, but the power is 4,200. Whoa, oh, wow. This is a good looking trip of the snack. What an insane box. These boxes are wild. There's so much good stuff in these boxes. I don't know how, I don't know how anybody would ever not want to strip in one of these boxes. They're like 15 bucks these boxes if you pre-order them. They become a lot more expensive later, I think. The Kefla, yeah. Universe 6. I think Kefla is an awesome character. Kefla is one of my favorite Sans. 
I just love that fight that she and Goku has when he does that surfer slide on the command on, on his Kamehameha slide. What a moment. And another snack, we got our Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku with his God of Destruction in the back. Seems like that's what all these have. They all have their God of Destruction in the back of the snack. Back of the snack. I'm bringing snack back. And our, our bless him. I didn't even bless him. I just started slicing the shrimp of the bless him. Here's our bless him the snack. And what is inside our bless him? It is a, yo, wow, this is cool. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, power 9,000. This is a GR, which I think the GR is like really good, good rarity. It's a high rarity. Got that laser, laser foiling on it. Looks really good. Wow, what a box. We got the... Vegeta, we got Vegito, we got this weird Goku and Piccolo, whatever's going on with that, and the UI Goku with the amazing foiling. What an insane box. What are these rarities? GR, MR, ER, MR, and then all the rest are like N and stuff. N plus. Ooh, this is an SR. They consider this to be SR. Wow. What a wild snack shrimp adventure. Anyway, guys, that was the shrimp and the snack adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm glad I kept my loops on because we just started pulling so much heat out of these snacks. It was wild. What an insane ride I almost wish i strip them this on my birthday instead of the draft box which we pulled kind of butt out of but the leaders were good in the draft box if you haven't seen it check out that video it just happened recently on my birthday anyway guys this was the strip them snack adventure i hope you enjoyed it if this is your first time here and you want to see snacks and dragon ball strip them on a weekly basis smush that subscription button if you're a returning member of the joe crew thank you for coming by and watching this snack strip them what a wild ride what an insane number of strip them guys i am a dentist i can't end the episode without doing a dental tooth tip these snacks Snacks are very tasty and wafers are very sugary. And I've given you this tip once before, but if this is your first time here or you haven't heard this tip before, make sure whenever you eat anything sugary, get a mouthful of water and swish that around for 60 seconds. Sugar is water soluble. So when you put sugar in water, it dissolves and the water can help dissolve the sugar off of your teeth just from getting from your morning brushing to your evening brushing. It's not a replacement for brushing whatsoever, but if you don't have access to a toothbrush and you wanna get the sugar off your teeth to reduce the chance that you're gonna get cavities, get a mouthful of water after you eat a tasty snack and swish that water for 60 seconds, spit it out, swallow it, whatever, it doesn't matter. And that has been the dental tooth tip of the day. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you.